on page 1404-2014 of the Dark Journal, The Blind Widow. Why me, oh my Pekin, keeping her gaze to the sky? She asked God why didn't he take her instead. Lying next to her was the breadwinner of her family, a seven-year-old, hawking in order to afford the daily bread for her blind mom and herself in almost unrecognizable look. Everyone around her couldn't fight their tears from falling. The dumb boy, repeated blabbing and hand movements. He witnessed the whole incident from afar off and was struggling to tell the tale. No one understood his sign, even though he kept at it trembling in shock. Some minutes later, a junior student showed up and said he was beckoning on his younger brother, who was playing behind the bus that was engulfed by the explosion. And now he's no more. They are waiting father. My star. Oh, my little star. On getting a call from his pregnant wife who must have the last courage to dial his number, he raced down only to meet her lifeless body. Weeping with a loud voice, he hugged her tightly and noticed his unborn baby making some movement. After a quick surgery to rescue the little girl, she didn't make it beyond 10 seconds of breath, who also su suffered severe heat burns from the diseased mother. Clusters, media clusters, the nation will and marvel in, in shock. Today's agony has ceased from being an idea or some emotions, but was felt when men derailed the path of being humans into monsters, dead to any human feelings. The various tales from this bomb blast, both written and unwritten in this dark journal, is dedicated to all those affected by the bomb blast. No human or religion has the right to take another man's life. Laws are made to serve humans and not humans serving the law. Thank you.